The Biden administration's travel budget is about to take a big hit here, but with the schedule that they're releasing now, the White House is making it clear that they are pulling out all of the stops. President Biden approaches a White House podium to talk about lowering the cost of health care yesterday. But behind the scenes, some of his campaign's heavy lifting is being shared by administration officials, including Vice President Kamala Harris. This election, we got everything on the line, and the voters in North Carolina know how to show up. Yesterday, she called into a North Carolina radio show. Today, she will be there in person. It's part of an expansive White House effort to send officials around the country. Harris in North Carolina, cabinet secretaries this week appear in Texas, Georgia, Nevada, Minnesota, and Pennsylvania, a list that includes what may be critical swing states. And First Lady Jill Biden is also doing her part for the campaign. These polls, like the Wall Street Journal one, land in the White House, and he's losing in all the battleground states. That... No, he's not losing in all the battleground all states. He's coming up, and he's um, a even or doing better. But the poll she was asked about from the Wall Street Journal does in fact show that former President Donald Trump has an edge in six out of seven swing states. And Trump this week hit both Michigan and Wisconsin. Republicans hope to build some fundraising momentum. And when you've got polls like this coming out and you've got mm -hmm. this repeated all through the media, this helps the RNC deliver its message and raise those funds. Still, the GOP is already behind on fundraising, especially after the Biden campaign raised some $26 million with a single event last week. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News.